Imagine if you could regrow your tooth that's missing or a tooth that's been decayed or damaged. If you could just magically regrow it, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? If you think regrowing your teeth in modern day times is science fiction, I have some interesting news for you. In today's video, we're diving into teeth regeneration or teeth remineralization is another word that we use where basically the body can actually regrow part of your tooth on its own. And even if it can't, it gets too deep and your body can't fix it on its own. There are ways now that we can actually regrow your teeth artificially. First, let's look at the structure of a tooth. You have three layers of a tooth. On the outside, you have enamel, which is a very, very hard surface. Now, if you have a cavity that's trying to get through your enamel, it's going to go very, very slow because this is very, very dense. Enamel is very dense. On the inner layer, you have dentin, which is much less dense. And so if you have a cavity, get through the enamel, it's going to go slowly. But once you get to the dentin, it's going to go very rapid. It's going to progress really, really fast. And unfortunately, they always aim for the nerve, which is kind of a weird thing. And then in the inner part, you have the nerve. The nerve of the tooth is basically a collection of stem cells, blood cells, and all sorts of different pain receptors that actually connect to your brain. So when your tooth hurts, it's because something has actually gotten to the inner layer of the tooth, either it's been hit, you're grinding on it at night, a cavity has touched it, or you've just injured the tooth or had trauma on it, that is why the tooth hurts because of the nerve. Now, once your enamel is lost past a certain point, your body cannot regrow it. It doesn't have the ability to regenerate itself or remineralize itself. Now, the word remineralization is actually your tooth regrowing itself. And there is a certain capacity that your body can remineralize itself once it gets to a certain point. Now, what I mean by this is let's say you have what we call an incipiency. An incipiency is like a baby cavity or a start of a cavity that, that as dentists, we can see on x-rays. And once it gets to a certain certain point, your body can actually remineralize itself with fluoride, with flossing and routine oral health care and, and regular trips to the dentist, you can actually remineralize your tooth, your body can actually repair it, and it can either stop the progression or can actually regrow that enamel to a certain point. Now that certain point is actually two thirds of the way into the enamel. Once you get past that, and you get into the dent in the inner layer of the tooth, your body cannot remineralize itself and it can't take care of itself. So, but I have really big news because in Japan, they just started human trials on regrowing teeth, which is just mind blowing because regrowing teeth would put me out of a job. It would absolutely just crush me as a, as a dentist because traditionally to fix teeth, you actually have to regrow them uh, artificially. So if you have a cavity on the tooth, I have to get you numb, I have to drill on it and then put an artificial filling in there. If your tooth is broken, we have to, or decayed to a certain point, we have to drill that tooth down and put a dental crown on it or if the tooth is missing a dental bridge or an implant. So we have artificial means of fixing the teeth. But just to think it, but just to think that maybe in the next decade or two, sometime in my lifetime, we are able to actually regrow teeth is pretty mind blowing. But scientists have actually been hard at work trying to regrow teeth for many, many years. There's been many advancements in technology. We now have 3D technology that can actually take an x-ray of your tooth, which in my profession has just been like, which in my which in my profession has just changed the way that I diagnose dentistry and the way we can see things. Traditionally, when we're taking x-rays, we're taking a two we're taking a two dimensional x-ray. And we take a two dimensional x-ray. The problem with that is that you have all these layers that are all stacked on each other. It's basically like looking at a book. It's basically like looking at a, a transparent book. You have all this writing that's stacked on each other. So you can't really decipher one word from another or one page from another because it's all in one two dimensional image. Now, a three dimensional image is like open up that book and we can see all the way through it. So it's just mind, so it's just mind blowing that we're able to use that technology. Now to just kind of open chapters like a book and say, okay, now this slice of the tooth, I don't see anything. And then I go over a couple chapters or a couple slides on the CBCT and I can actually see really, really well. But let's get back to regrowing teeth. Researchers have actually identified certain stem cells that can actually regrow your tooth. And by manipulating some of these stem cells, scientists have actually been able to regrow pulp or human dentin in the laboratory. But regrowing enamel is a little bit more of a challenge. And it may take a really long time to regrow teeth and regrow people's enamels like you think. And the trials in Japan where you just take a pill and you just regrow your tooth or regrow enamel, we are a very long ways away from that. So unfortunately, in today's technology, we can't actually regrow a tooth once it gets past a certain point. And the best way to regrow a tooth is actually to replace it with dental bridge, a dental implant or filling or a composite filling material. But technology is moving really, really fast, especially in the dental industry. Now, we now have robots that can actually do root canals and do crown preps in limited time. So can teeth be regrown up to a certain point? Yes, they can be remineralized. But after that, we're going to need a little bit more advanced technology and a little bit more time for these researchers to actually develop a way to actually regrow teeth. 
But who knows, maybe in the future, we're gonna be able to regrow teeth just like we regrow other parts of our body, like hair. In the meantime, brush our teeth and take care of them as though we don't have a way to just magically take a pill and regenerate our teeth or our enamel. And honestly, coming from a dentist, stop chewing your fingernails, that just drives me crazy. I see people that do that, and when I look at your fingernails and I see that the fingernail is actually half gone, I know that you're biting on your nails, I have kids that do this, and it drives me crazy because your front teeth are not meant for biting on your nails. And it chips your front teeth, and once they're chipped, it's really hard to actually put a filling back in there. So until we have the technology to do that, stop biting on your nails, brushing, flossing, regular dental visits, of course. And if you're watching this video, want to leave a comment below, just if you're, how interested or excited are you to not go to the dentist in the future, maybe in 20, 30 years, we're actually not even going to the dentist. We're actually just going to somebody who's going to pull a tooth. Then you go to another person and you actually just regrow a tooth. Maybe it's going to be like a teeth pulling and regrowing combo. So dentistry isn't going to have all these specialists. It's just going to be a teeth regrowing service. Kind of interesting to think about. Let me know what your comments are below. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.